is where we can make a little spring mood board for it to stay. And like the baby food on it is so cute. We are actually at being cute. It looks really great. And then this is natural hessian. I've been like pressing it into the skin. I know he would do like that's something Tamlin would do to make her do it because that's the type of person that I think he is. If you guys want to like see the material, it's time for pre day night post host renovation day shower good morning best friends and welcome back to another week with me welcome back to the weekly vlog if there's a reason why i believe that morning showers are better than evening showers let's just start the vlog off with a bit of a ted talk number one reason is there anything better than feeling like clean throughout the day because i feel like yeah you're going to feel clean getting into bed but then you wake up the next morning and you almost feel like you need to shower again like washing your hair at night yeah fun but then you go into sleep you wake up, you shower, you wash your hair, you've got fresh hair in the morning. I don't know, maybe you guys don't agree with me on that, but I just personally love a morning like pamper. I feel like it really does something to my soul. I find that it just, I don't know, I love a slow morning. So I've just washed my hair, <laughs> as we can see. I ended last week's vlog a little bit more like down in the dumps but i'm honestly just going to shut that negative feeling off and we're just going to power through i did actually just go to start recording and my sd card snapped and i thought is that a sign to not start the vlog and then i thought you know what when i'm going to listen to that it is tuesday morning yesterday we just had a huge live admin day a day that i needed to do i literally had five thousand emails that were just like unread you know like clogging up your inbox i just cleansed my soul, my laptop, I binged a bit of TV in the background, I edited the vlog and I went to the gym, I worked out, I did a food chop, I just honestly got my life a little bit more in order and I feel better and I'm just like I said, I'm going to put that negativity to one side of the room and we're going to have a positive week. I have literally sat and writ a list of things that I want to do this week not things that are to do with work not that are things that are to do with like life just actual things that i want to do for me that are going to make me feel really excited this week feel better feel more motivated and to let me have allow me to have a really good week so that is the plan one thing on the list was wash the hair i feel like when you're on this like health journey of your hair and you want to grow it and you want to make it super healthy you almost get to a point where like washing it is like the devil and i definitely have probably being like an advocate for like don't wash your hair for ages and like as much as I believe that I actually think sometimes I took that advice a little bit too literally and I was literally going really really long time about washing my hair whereas I actually feel really like good when my hair is fresh and it's like what is the point of growing my hair to be super long and healthy if it's always just going to be scraped back into a bun or if it's always going to be greasy you know like it's at a good point so now it's like time to enjoy it and to have it down and to style it so that is why it hasn't even been a week since I last washed it. It's been like five days, I think. But I just thought, no, you're washing it. You don't have to listen to the seven day rule. Like it was almost getting a little bit toxic in my life. <laughs> and like I was letting it rule me where it's like, if your hair needs washing, just wash it, you know, it's not that deep. So we washed the hair and I thought I'd share with you guys my like post hair wash products and we could dry it and just get ready for the day. I haven't got the biggest plans actually today, but I do have just, like I said, a list of things that I want to do with you guys throughout this week, just to make the vlogs really fun and almost just to like keep myself accountable. Like don't get lost in doing things for work, doing things for just like general life, like actually just doing things that I enjoy that are maybe a little bit different. So that's the vibe of this week so welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are all well i i'm gonna dry my hair so let me go and get my products and then i'll show you what i'm gonna put on and then we'll dry it together has this been in a fake tan explosion yes it has but are we gonna let it roll us out of you not using it no we're just gonna wipe it i don't even know how this happened but it's literally covered products we're gonna use to start with i'm just gonna put in a little bit of this color wild dream cocktail kale infused leave-in treatment it's just basically a leave-in conditioner to wash my hair this morning i use the grow gorgeous shampoo and conditioner i've got to say i think this is like my third week using it i used to really like it and i used to really love their products i just sort of started using other things in replacement but I can't say I'm a massive fan of the shampoo and conditioner, I don't think. I mean, I'll give it, obviously, I'll give it another go. I thought I'll give it a fair chance. Oh, so I'll let you guys know once it's dried. But I do feel like the last couple of weeks, my hair hasn't felt the best. So, yeah, that's that. 
and I'm going to put in a little bit of the GHD Sleek Talker. It's like a really like, it's like a gel. Um, I'm just going to run this like through the ends and the lengths of it. This just literally just keeps it quite sleek when you dry it, which is good. But then I guess this is now where we are fighting each other because now I'm going to put in the Colorwell Bombshell Volumizer. Just a few pumps of this. I've seen people use this with the Dyson Airwrap and a lot with shorter hair, more layered, bouncy hair, and honestly, it looks incredible. So I'm going to focus more of this like on the front to give it a bit of volume on the top and then run it through like this. Then I have been using this Wella oil. I think this is better for on dry hair, whereas I really like the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil on wet hair. I'm not going to put a lot on just a few little drops because we have got a lot of products going on the hair so we don't want too much on like that and then final product holy grail product a product we all need to be loving and using is the color wow extra strength dream coat i've got the non-extra strength um and then i've got this like extra strength little bottle i've had this for so long like honestly i want to say or probably a year i mean like i said i don't wash my hair that much it's probably been like it's average on once a week sometimes more but sometimes longer but this little bottle has lasted me for a long time so don't feel pressured to get the big bottle because i know it can be a bit pricey but if you look on look fantastic they've always got deals on or even tiktok shop but it is a very 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 good product i will vouch for that then we are just going to take this wide tooth comb See how nice that is, whereas I feel like before the products my hair was so like tangly and knotty and now this literally just glides through the hair. Like this. Also I treated myself to a new estrogen razor because I didn't know where mine was and I went into boots and I've never seen this colour before. But as you can see a lot of my shower products at the minute are purple so I thought... I'm going to get purple. I've had the peach years ago. I've now got the pink, but I just couldn't find it. And I needed to shave my legs because they were so bad. So I just grabbed this purple one. But in Boots, if you go in, it's literally, I think it was on sale for like 7 95 And you get the razor. It's like you get the whole starter pack. Where did I put it? You get the razor. You get like extra sh um, shaver heads. You get the shower suction. You get a lot. And I brought these a few weeks ago. I'm going to put a pair on now just to add to the self-care pamper vibe. This is the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy Under Eye Mask. And you actually get a pack of three. I got these in Sainsbury's on Nectar Price. They were really, really cheap. Um, and I want to try them because I love an under eye patch. So... smells like green tea i don't know what it's supposed to smell like oh it is green tea collagen green tea vitamin a and e right we look in the mirror oh it's very sticky i feel like i'm getting my eyelashes done oh my god they actually stick on oh i feel like i'm getting my eyelashes done i've pulled my skin oh. then do you pull that bit off i'll put that one on a lot nicer this one is gonna have to go back on it's actually pulling my eyelashes down This is what it means to be a girl. Okay, right. Now let's dry our hair. Let me grab my dryer. Okay, one of my most like loved products recently is the GHD Duet Styler. They actually very, very, very kindly sent me this. And I really like it. I've had it for a while. Well, I had a different one and then they sent me this one. But I honestly really, really love it. It just really like sleeps your hair down. You literally just turn it on. It dries and straightens it. At the same time, I'm going to put a little bit of, my hair has dried because it's been a while since I washed it. I've been like pottering around this morning, so it's not fully dry and um, fully wet, which is good. Works better like that. So I can air it I Very slowly go down. When it's like a bit damp like this though, it honestly does it on the first go. Obviously if it's raining wet, you might have to go over it a couple more times, but it's not so bad.
pensando no seu propósito. I should be doing all the same. My hair is pretty much dry. I feel like that probably took me about 10 minutes. It really doesn't take long. Obviously, if your hair is soaking wet and you're having to keep doing the process over and over again, it does take a little bit longer. But I am going to have to fully disapprove and take back anything that I used to say about the Grow Gorgeous shampoo. I just don't think... I don't know. I feel like it just doesn't clean my hair. Like, I can still, like... I feel like there's just bits left in my hair. And that's the third time I've used it now on like the trot. And I just feel like it's not, it's just not clean my hair. Like it doesn't feel as dry or anything as it did. Like it definitely feels softer. But I feel like it just doesn't actually wash my hair very well. Um. So yeah, I probably won't use that again. Although I used to really like it and my mum's used it and she really likes it. So I don't know, maybe it's just because I've got like a product build up. Maybe I should have given it a better scalp brush rub but i mean i did do it for a couple of minutes in the shower that's normally enough so now i've just turned this on to the like straightener mode and i'm just going to give it a quick straighten nothing crazy like i just do it very sporadically i'm just gonna straighten my bangs into my hair i can't be bothered to style them today i've been mean, thinking about having like some color put through like nothing crazy just I don't know, like some like highlights, just some summer highlights. But I don't, I don't know. I think it just maybe would add a bit of like dimension to my hair, maybe like a bit of something. I don't know. But I do have quite a lot of like natural, like naturally it has quite a lot of different colours through it. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking, but whether I actually do or not, I don't know. Although I put a glaze like semi-permanent dye on it a couple weeks ago and I've it's covered my grey up so much like I've barely been noticing any. So maybe try that because I feel like it's such a less extreme thing to do. Not that mine were like particularly that bad, but one, the glaze really adds like a glaze, like gloss look to your hair and it has covered a lot of the grey. Um which is good. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to turn this off. And then I'm just going to grab this brush. Oh, it feels so nice to have clean hair. This is how it looks from the back. So, so nice. Okay plan of action for the day i really want to make like a, i know we're fully into spring now but i want to make like a spring slash summer almost just like a may um like mood board because i feel like it just you know if you feel like you're stuck in a little bit of a rut and maybe you feel like you're not romanticizing life because i'm just a big fan of like romanticizing your life will make you feel so much better like whether it's silly things like going to grab a coffee like don't just think of it as like i'm just gonna go and grab a coffee from costa it's like you're gonna take yourself on a solo day and you know you might put a cute fit on and order a new coffee that you've seen online that you want really want to try like just like romanticizing little things like that i think really help you like appreciate the little things and i want to make like a pinterest board that sort of just when i feel like how i did at the end of last week where i'm a little bit like down in the dumps like a little bit like critical of myself like just a bit like mm, then i can sort of look at this board and it's going to inspire me and motivate me and just give me like ideas of things i want to do so we're going to jump on pinterest and i thought i'd make it with you guys because it might give you a little like inspiration might give you guys some inspiration to make one too and you could do it for every month which i feel like is so cool because i feel like in january we're all on pinterest making our vision boards and it's like a big thing of ours to do like especially talking from a personal point of view it's so important that i make this like gorgeous inspirational motivational of like this like vision board of inspirational images and things that are going to motivate me every day to reach my goals but actually what about just making like more mood boards for the months that are going to make us feel motivated about our like day-to-day -day life and not always looking at like the bigger picture like not so focused on like goals more focused on just like things that are going to make us happy and things that we enjoy doing you know okay i've grabbed my ipad and i thought this is where we can make a little spring mood board and of course we're going to head to pinterest 
So, I've written a list on my phone, which I'll read out to you guys. I've just like things that I want to, just like, like I said, to romanticize my life. So these are just a few things that I've thought of. Being outside, hot girl walks, workouts, but like not just like gym workouts, like I want to be trying different classes. Like I really enjoy doing the at home Pilates class, so like things like that, just switching things off. Nourishing foods, trying new recipes, making my coffee at home, which I've actually been loving doing because you like make it to how you like it. Like when you go to, I don't know, like Costa or Pret or wherever you like to go, they make it how they make it. Whereas at home you're making your coffee how you like it. And that's so funny. You can tweak things and try new syrups and try new recipes and like get on TikTok and find really nice, like different matcha recipes or something. So I've been loving that. Spring outfits is a big one because I feel like you put a new outfit on, you feel so much more inspired about your life and it just helps you have a good day. Cute new hairstyles on like sort of continuing on to the conversation we had at the start of the vlog just like trying new things with our hair and not being so like just boring and sort of just doing things that we always do like actually making a little bit more of an effort and like doing cute little braids and plaits and like maybe putting like little accessories in our hair so cute then lighter makeup is a big one I feel like at this time of year it's just so nice to have that then like home shopping and then just lots of self-care whether it's skincare or hair care body care like really romanticizing each moment of like caring for ourselves. so i have made a board called spring mood board and i've had this for a little while just and i've just been like working on it in the background so this is what i've got so far i've got a few little like quotes that are inspiring so this is a really good one the happiest people romanticize their life because they know magic exists where they choose to find it and i feel like that is like really trying to i'm trying to ingrain it in my head obviously i've got a lot of like renovation things because that is what we are like currently doing renovating our house some journaling which oh that was rude my pinterest just shut down Someone actually said to me that I like, have you been journaling recently? And I thought, no. And I feel like that is probably why I feel, I have felt so weird because I haven't been. And that is like such a thing that I love to do. Like I love to journal. So I saw this and it's things that I love. And it's literally just writing down every day some things that you love, like green. I love the colour green, that's so cool. So some date nights, we've got hot girl walks. I saw this mood board for April and I feel like you could make this mood board and then you could turn it into a little board like this and then you could put it as your screensaver and call it the month. Okay, so I'm just gonna search outside aesthetic. And then like this looks so cute, like picking flowers. And we're going to save that to our spring mood board. Even like having like picnics would be such a fun activity to do this time of year. Now it's getting a little bit. Sorry, I just had a visitor come. Dance, come here. Show them your tail. She's absolutely fine. You would not think she just had surgery. Look at her tail though. <laughs> it's awful to be honest. But it's just because obviously it's been shaved. And once it grows back, I don't think it'll be so bad. So, yeah, like I said, we've got like sunset walks. Sunset walks is one of my favourite things to do at this time of year. It's like the time where it really starts like becoming a little bit more accessible because it's not getting dark until later. It's getting warmer so you can actually go out at this time of night. So I'm going to save that. Also, just like getting flowers for around the house is such a big one. Then we're going to do spring outfits. I do have a whole like spring outfits Pinterest board already, but still just like... I'm going to add a few that I really like. I love this vibe with the the shorts and like the graphic tee. Hello, miss. You're such a good girl. And just like being a little bit more like experimental with fashion. I feel like he's so fun, like being, being, being a bit more colourful and just like wearing things that maybe you wouldn't wear. Like wearing something that you wouldn't wear last year that you really like this year. I feel like he's actually so like empowering because you're like, oh, like, I, I would never have thought that I'd wear this, but here I am wearing it, and I love that. Now we're going to type in spring food. I've just been in love, I've been loving having, like, bowls, and, like, instead of having, like, more meals, I've been, like, deconstructing all of my meals and chucking them in a bowl and mixing them all together, and I feel like I just love that, and just having more, like, fruit and vegetables and, like, colourful dishes, like, this is literal 
P-O-R-N to me. If you catch my drift. Even like baking, like that, is a vibe. We're going to pin that. And it's fun to like get on TikTok and you could do this, like you could search loads of different, I don't know, like spring recipes and then you could make a little collection on TikTok and then when you come to like wanting something different for dinner, instead of then having to think you can like revisit your board and think, oh, I've actually made a list of like recipes that I want to try already and then you go to the food shop and you know, so it's just like forward planning, self-care aesthetic. But this is such a happy vibe like it's just happiness and just I'm here for all the all the good vibes but this is so nice like an it girl morning routine again like investing into your morning routines and your evening routines and all of that is so so good even just like drinking more water what about like an at home coffee station so cute if any of you guys have got good recommendations of coffee machines as well let me know because i'm going to be on the lookout for one and once i decide which one i want then obviously if i ever see it on like sale or like a good price i can i can you know run on that okay so this is how we are currently looking and i feel like this is just so nice for me to look at and just think like what do you want to be doing Let's have a look. I also like to see what they recommend to me because obviously they pick up on your algorithm. Oh my god, so cute. Coffee dates, fruit. Like just like stretching at home, like at home Pilates, like I said, I loved doing that. Reading again, big one, hot girl walks, at home coffee. I'm just here for for the positive vibes this spring and motivating not obviously i'm not going to be doing reformer pilates because there isn't really anywhere anywhere around here but like it's still a but then like you find something like this an at-home pilates girl and then add that you know something that's actually what you're envisioning for this time of your life so cool and then maybe let's just put in like gym Again, like early rising, I'm not going to put too much pressure on the early rising, but I do find getting up at like a reasonably earlier time makes me feel better. So then this is the board as it is. And that just looks so inspiring. Like now when I'm feeling a little bit more down, like I can just look at this and think like, no, like make yourself a healthy meal, throw on a cute fit, go for a walk outside so nice so that's our little spring mood board made and this is your sign so that is made i just feel like it's going to be so nice on those days where you or like weekends like on your day off or something like when you like oh, what do i want to do it's like nice to be able to look and use it as like a continuous thing like i feel like that's sometimes where we go wrong with vision boards we make them in january and then we just completely leave them and it's like 12 months is a long time you're going to evolve transform your goals you're going to have different things you want to do yet we're still basing like our success and happiness off a board we made in january sometimes they don't align and that's okay anyway a little bit of skincare those feel so nice i'm just going to go in with the laneige water bank range this is literally what i've been using every day for a while now and I'm going to make that board probably into like a Canva document and maybe set it as the background on my iPad or on my phone. So we will do that at some point. But I feel like that was a nice step to do together. And then we can do the rest another day. I want to get out the house today because I sat in a lot last week and I want to get out and about. So I'm just going to do this and then we'll get ourselves ready to leave the house. So nice. Honestly, you're signed to buy it because it's so bloody good. Deodorant, I'm going to go in with this. Sorry, the window's open because it's really hot. It's really like grey and stuffy outside, but it just feels really warm. Deodorant is the Rio Dio. So nice. It smells like strawberries. Do we love? That's on that. 
put it all on my hand. A little bit more Laneige on the lips because can you ever have enough of this stuff? No. And we're just going to have a no makeup day. I think there's no point. We haven't really got any reason to put makeup on. It's nice to let your skin breathe. This is how we look. Right, I'm going to get myself ready. Tidy all this way because I've got about a million products out. Current state. Okay, little OOTD. I haven't put my shoes on yet. It's really hard to get on a straight on angle. Is that better? Okay. Posted in this on Instagram last night. Inspired me to really wear the outfit. So... Also, I'm going to be so sad when this one's out. Can someone just, in Australia, send me some? I send you the money. <laughs> I love them. Okay, this is what we're wearing today. This is a grey sweater from Boohoo. It's just got Design Studio on. And then these are some little shorts that I got from Cotton On. And I think I'm just going to throw this on with either my Uggs or my trainers. I'm not yet decided, but... Hoops are really Aurora. Primark bag is coach bag, but I got it from a coach outlet and I can't find anywhere online. But this is the look I brought on Instagram. I thought it was cute, comfy. It's see, it's like cloudy grey, but it's quite hot and stuffy. So I thought if I wear like a jumper but shorts, I'll probably be okay. So yeah, this is the look. Minus shoes. Dudes, come on, good girl, push that. Oh, she's tired. She's so tired. <laughs> come on then, let's go. Okay, we are actually at B&Q. I don't think I've ever really been to B&Q on my own. It's normally somewhere that I definitely only venture on the weekend with all to get supplies for the runner. However, if you've been keeping up with the renovation, which hopefully you guys have, my like master bedroom, I say my, our master bedroom and our third bedroom, which is very much up, up for debate as to what it will be. Obviously we don't really need three bedrooms. We're never gonna really have people stay over. Like all of our like family and friends are very close. Like we don't really have people like coming up to stay, you know? So we don't really need like a spare bed, like guest bedroom. It would be very much wasted. We're gonna have one of the rooms as the wardrobe room. That room's not quite ready yet. So that room is like probably gonna be an office slash filming space for me to start with. Somewhere where Ollie can play his Xbox maybe. And then if we ever had kids, in that house then that would become the nursery but those are the two rooms that are plastered and ready to be painted essentially this week we've got radiators being well not the radiators being put in but the pipes being done for the radiators so that's exciting so now it's been plastered two weeks ago it's fully dried and basically it's ready to be painted which is so exciting so i've got a few ideas of like what paint i want i really 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 want to lime wash the bedroom I know it's not, I don't know, like it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. I really like it. I think it adds a really nice texture to the wall. I love that like organic, like earthy, like vibe it gives. So I don't know whether B&Q will have any lime washes, but I want to have a look at the paint samples anyway. And basically just grab a few samples. And then I think what I'm actually going to do to decide is get a canvas. I saw this woman do it on, I don't know if it was like Instagram Reels maybe or TikTok. She had an actual like canvas from like Hobby Craft, let's say. She painted her samples and and then she actually held them like up around the room because where the sunlight hits obviously is going to determine majorly what the majorly how the color looks and like it might look really nice on one wall and then on the other wall it could look really gray so instead of having just like the paper samples which obviously aren't the best like it's good to be able to transfer like transfer and like you know it's portable instead of having to paint all the walls so i think if i just paint the canvas so i'm just going to have a look at what I don't know if I've popped a bit skew if. Oh no, actually, he's just popped very far over. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into B&Q. I did ask on my Reno page a few weeks, I think it was last weekend, for some like f of you guys' favourite um, neutral paints, any suggestions. So I've got a list of those. I'm going to go and have a little look in B&Q and see. But I did get a lot of messages very awkward. I did get a lot of messages saying that B&Q do very good at like 
matching paint so not always to go for like the furrow and ball is it called furrow and ball paint get the color and then they'll color match it so that's good so anyway we're gonna head into being a bit nervous i feel like it's not really a you know it's definitely not primark but we can do it we're confident queens we're just gonna go in there to the paint section i have actually been to the paint section once before i don't know what for but i have been so i know where it is i'm gonna go i don't know exactly how it works whether you can get like little sample pots but i'm first of all gonna look for lime wash paint and then i'm gonna have a little look so i know egyptian cotton is a big popular one also summer linen and elephant those are a few off the top of my head that i've, I've remembered that you guys recommended so we're gonna go and, ha go and have a little look for those paints I love this herringbone fly and I love the colour like what a nice like deep brain they've got it in like um, planks but I just love the herringbone so nice taking a picture of inspo okay I'm sure the paints oh yeah here okay. okay so here are all the samples how nice is overtly olive I don't know if it's a little bit too dark but I like the like undertone of that See, this is the problem. That looks really grey, yet up there it looks really like cream. I feel like they all look so different. Also, that's nice, tranquil dawn. Elephant's breath was recommended to me, but there's no samples of that. But these are all the farrow and ball paints. So these are all of, I think these are the B&Q shades, so that you can like, you can get them mixed to match. I think that's right personalise your shape we can match any colour from a sample Ooh, look at this how will your colour really look in your home this is called pampas beige see it looks so dark in that and then it looks more grey so weird it looks so nice in the neutral they don't sell any wine mesh. these are the ones that I found I think that looks a bit too blue I've got a few anyway a few of the ones that were recommended so i obviously couldn't get any of the lime wash ones which is a shame but i got a few that were recommended and i thought it would be good just like for the rest of the house in general i'm thinking about if i don't lime wash the whole of our bedroom because i'd really like to have like a sagey green like feature wall in our room so if i don't lime wash it i was thinking it'd be quite nice to do like a sage green either lime wash feature wall or just sage green wall um so i got a few paints so i will run through the ones that i got with you guys i'm glad i got some they were only like two pounds 60 each which i thought was quite good i don't know whether there's like better or cheaper ways to do that but i, I didn't mind that it cost me like 14 pounds for all those and i thought i can paint them on the canvas and then i can reuse them which is one of the reasons why i thought the idea was actually so good by that lady so obviously if you paint in the bedroom but you want to get a whole idea of the whole room you're gonna to have to paint a sample on each wall and then if you then wanted to reuse it or you wanted to know how it would look somewhere else in the house you'd have to you know what i mean you'd end up spending more so i think actually doing it on the canvas is such a good idea and then i can just like carry the canvas around obviously i'll just write underneath what the shade is because like you might paint your bedroom in a color and then think like we might paint i don't know we don't know how we're going to paint everything so i thought it'd just be a good way of being able to do it anyway you're going to slide all over the shop so i'll always see you guys in a bit got a few parcels to open so i thought that we could do it together this i think is pr Rocks, come here, show them how big you are. Show the vlog how big you are now. <laughs> she looks huge on me. You look huge. Say hello. Do you want to say hi, Frank? Come on then. No, Frankie runs off. Okay, I think this is PR. Oh yeah, this is exciting actually. I'm working with Batiste. So stay tuned for that video. And they have sent me to try their new 24 hour fresh dry shampoo. I love Batiste, they're such a good go-to brand. So I'm so excited to be working with those. And this is Amazon. I actually pre-ordered this. I think this came, it, like it got delivered on the day it was ordered day it was released if you know what I mean but I pre-ordered it a couple of weeks ago it's oh it's damaged it's okay it's Emily English if you guys follow her on TikTok I think she's called M the Nutritionist but she's the 
so good girl and i love her recipes so i thought i'd get it and then i thought it'd also look so nice in our kitchen but i love everything she cooks it's very like nutritionally led very simple very quick so i thought i'd get her book and it was literally like i think it's only 12.99 i'll leave the link below but i saw it was on pre-order on amazon so i ordered it and there is breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, and then sweets. Like this book. I, I love myself a book, like a cookbook. Oh, that's cool as well. Look. It's actually got a meal plan in there. And she's actually done like a, a two weeks worth of, of like food plan as well and give you all advice about meal plans that's good pantry essentials but there's loads of breakfast recipes and it's all like whole foods which i really like matcha overnight oats okay got that look gut food smoothie bowl so i'm going to use this for a bit of inspo and i thought it would be a nice decoration like decorative book in the house as well which is why i thought i'd get it tuna melt a classic jody recipe salads soup sushi salad the global that's a big one that she cooks then she's got a hummus dip skin glow crackers like different snacks which looks cool and then dinners prawn and scratcher burgers chicken and tarragon lasagna i thought it would just be a nice way to switch my cooking up and i like a recipe so it's a very aesthetic recipe book i thought it'd look nice on my wooden shelf in the house so that's all i've got hello guys just checking in i just pulled up to sainsbury's i've just had a couple hours with my mom and my brothers ollie's had a crane put on his front tuff and i'm really excited to see how it looks because he's had like a dead tuff there for ages and it was going really 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 grey so when we got back from australia i was like right you need to get it sorted so he's had a crane put on and i've just called him and he was like i feel like i need to learn how to speak again because i feel like i sound really funny because he's always had a gap like only a slight gap but since he literally had teeth and he was like i feel like the crayon is like it just has made my gap feel like different and smaller so he's like i just need to get used to it so i'm gonna run into sainsbury's get some stuff for dinner then we're gonna cook dinner i'll show you the paint samples when we get back and show you what we have for dinner and then i also want to get a little like foaming cleanser or something from sainsbury's because i've just been washing my face with water and skin update not that it was ever like really really bad but for me like i've always had very clear skin like i've always been very blessed and i don't know over the last like six months nine months it just went really funny and like i kept having random breakouts so i'm so glad that it's cleared but i no longer have like a well i was using the medic 8 cleanser and i did really 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 like it but since i haven't been using it my skin's fully cleared up so i'm a little bit hesitant to use it again i might use it again at some point but i do just want to get a general face cleanser just like a simple one or something just you know in the mornings to give your face like a good scrub because i've just been doing it with water which i mean isn't awful but i don't know sometimes it's nice so i'm gonna have a look anyway see what um see what signs we have i might have to go to boots one day this week but we will go and get dinner and stuff now dinner it was really nice ollie's eating his now because he weren't that hungry but his tuff looks really good and i thought i would tell you what paint samples i got but we will get the canvas some point this week and then i'll actually do the canvas thing with you guys and take it to the house and everything but i got egyptian cotton which i feel like is a very popular color i got this one i didn't actually mean to pick this up but it's called pebble shore I thought it'd be really great but actually looking on pinterest some people have got it really nice in the house so i'm not mad at it because maybe it'll be like a wild card then i got summer linen which again was a very popular shade they look really gray on here but obviously every paint looks so different on every surface 
Then this is natural hessian, which me and Ollie both really liked. I feel like this looks a bit like Egyptian cotton. But it looks really dark in here, but like this is the thing, someone could have Egyptian cotton it look really dark and some people could have Egyptian cotton it look like white, eh? Like it's so dependent on your light and how you style it with other colours, but we both really liked how that looked on Pinterest. That's natural Hesse and these are all Dulux ones. Then these are the green ones that I got. Overtly olive, which looked quite olive, didn't it? Like a little bit too maybe. Green. A bit too green. But we're here for, you know, a wild card. And this one was a little bit more sage. This was fresh artichoke. These were all matte colours. We're having matte paint. Do you have matte paint? Is that what you have? Yeah. yeah. And then some of these are actually the Easy Care washable and tough. I don't know what that means, but I think it means that it will like wipe off well, which will probably be good, especially if we have a dog or something. So yeah, those are all the shades that I got. We will at some point this week get a canvas, paint them on and then take them to the house and try and pick. I think I'll probably have to ponder on it to be honest, I'm not very good at making a decision. But I'm going to check out with you guys here and I'll see you in the morning, early start because I've got to go and meet Mia's boyfriend Dan at the house in the morning to give him the keys because he's doing the radiators and I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to get off and just be early and productive and busy. So I will see you guys in the morning. My pyjamas on, these are from Asda at Christmas time. Very cute. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. I'm on the right. Strawberries. Apparently they went viral when we was in Australia. Bro. They hadn't tried the strawberries. starting off the day well we have started off the day pretty positively i've actually been up since 5 a.m this morning which i haven't done for a while but ollie's first alarm went off and i honestly i think because i knew i had to get up and go out to let dan in i was just like awake straight away so i got up read a bit of my book went and let dan in then i actually was in sainsbury's for like two minutes past seven and i was like gosh that sainsbury's is open it's time i wasn't sure what time like supermarkets open but there's people doing like the full weekly shop and I thought it's 7am. Crazy, I just had to get some granola, so, and like just a few little bits. So I went to Sainsbury's, came back, and because it was like, I think I put some washing out and it was like half seven. And I knew I wanted to do an at-home Pilates workout. So I thought, right, let's sit in bed, let's read a few chapters of my book, like a few more. So I did a bit of that, which was actually really nice, just have like a slow morning, no pressure. Just like trying to get back into doing positive habits so I thought I'm going to read my book and I just try and I was like it's half seven like you literally do not need to get out of bed at this point but like you know because I got out and then got back and it felt a little bit silly but I just like snuggled up read my book for a few chapters and then I did my Pilates workout I've just tidied the room I've just hoovered up cleaned all the like the windows the mirror stuff like that just stayed on top of that this is so good this is the Laneige glowy makeup serum it's so good and then that was the glowy glowy lip bar yeah makes your skin just like so hydrated and fresh so we love that then for our brows i'm just gonna do like natural no makeup makeup today i think just to look a little bit put together i'm gonna go in with the by la brow shape and then I did my at home Pilates workout. I did the same one as what I did, not last week, the week before. And I actually really liked it. I just thought because I liked her and I liked the session and it made me hurt so much last time. I thought I'll just do that one again and then maybe next time I'll switch it up. But I really, I don't know what she's called, but I will leave the link to the the video that I did below. It's like 25 minutes. It's no equipment. You don't even need a mat if you have carpet. Like I just do it on the floor. I don't bother with the yoga mat. 
and it's really 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 good so we love that we're trying to just switch up the workouts like not just focus so much on like gym 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 we're trying to do a bit of gym bit of cardio like weightlifting pilates just you know including everything incorporating it all and then here i am just getting ready for the day okay those are the brows just brushed up nice and natural i don't really know what to do with my face i don't know if to just actually leave it my skin looks quite it's got like a bit of um i feel like the sun over the weekend made my freckles come out a lot i'm just gonna curl my lashes again i did have a brow lift back in not a brow lift that makes no sense i had an lvl which is a lash lift back in february i think just before i went to australia it was and i really really liked it so i might go and get another one of them because it just you wake up with literally lashes like that they always look so good so i might go back and have a lash lift because i do feel like they lasted well and it just makes you feel more awake i feel maybe i'll wait till next week or the week after though because we've got a wedding coming up which we need to decide on what we're going to wear for that i feel like if you feel like your first time you curl your lashes little tip if you feel like they don't stay do them do something else and then come back and then the second time like really hold them and i feel like on the second go see how much more they lifted on that go so yeah we've got a wedding coming up so we need to do a bit of wedding prep i want to get my toes done lashes done all of that ready so that'll probably commence either the end of next week or the week after we also need to solidify on an outfit which is stressing me out but all in good time we will decide what we're going to wear i think the only thing i'm going to put on i'm going to get a little bit of the refi blush do i or do i see my skin i'm just gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it i'll only end up regretting it when it's all you know no point really okay so that is all i'm going to do to the face hair probably will be straight enough to just leave i'm actually really enjoying having my hair straight this week i feel like it looks really nice and like sleek i think it's because the bangs have grown out a little bit more i feel like when they're first cut in and you have it straight it looks a bit crazy because they're like very separate from the rest of your hair but now they're growing out looks a lot better and i saw a girl on tiktok i don't know what she was called but she, she's been going up a lot on my for you page is she called savannah maybe i don't know but she said that long layers are just like she was like if you're contemplating long layers like they're the best thing that you'll ever have so i don't know whether to maybe go for like a long layer in my hair just to give it like a bit more volume because it's obviously easier with long layers like my hair just is all one length so it just hangs Whereas if there was like long legs and then face framing instead of just bangs, maybe that would be nice. Anyway, this is how we look. I've put all my earrings back in my ear, in my second and in my tragus and my second here. I had these ones and I've never changed these ones, but I feel so much better. It's little things like that just make yourself feel better. I feel like I feel like myself with all my earrings in. So I feel a lot better about that. I'm going to decide what to wear today. I have no idea. I don't really know exactly what I want to do today. I think I just want to like get out of the house. I'm thinking maybe go for like a little coffee, maybe go for a mood trained home sense or TK Max or just somewhere like that. I've not yet quite decided. So I'm going to decide and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, let me give you guys a little outfit of the day, scent of the day. And um, scent, honestly, of recent times has been Carolina Herrera. Although I will say this is called Good Girl. To me, it's like maybe a little bit more like sexy, sultry, but it's still to me when I first spray, it smells very like girly. But that two people have said to me, like, you smell quite manly. Like, what is that? Like, what have you got on? Me and Renali both. So I don't know whether it's like after an hour or so, whether it like, I don't know, like oxidized or the way it just sits on my skin, it, it must smell quite male. So if you're someone who, because I typically do love more of like a girly scent, like I love, um, Oh my god, such a weird book has just landed on the outside of the window, like a green, I don't even know what that is. 
hello <laughs> i really like like really like girly like i love um paco roban olympia i love vera wang princess just like very like girly girly sense you know so anyway this is the outfit um earrings are pretty much all primark i think they actually all are just out of like the big packs these are the very raw collection in this one i've got different ones in so i've got like a more jeweled one on this and just like a little moon then this is my outfit so i tilted up a little if you don't it's actually all white fox and this is not an ad but i have worked with them this month very excitedly and i've got a coat if you guys do want to shop then it's literally just jody mate and that's 15 percent off which is so good but this whole thing is white fox so this is a little gray zip up it's just got very minimal branding i've been wearing this a lot because it's just so it's nice it hasn't got a hood and it's still like that zip up vibe which i really like so it's like a jacket but obviously it's more casual which is nice this little wiped <laughs> white this little white ribbed top is white fox this is really cute it's not see-through either which is nice i've been wearing this loads as well and then these are just the gray flares honestly because these are the most comfortable thing when you're in your period you just don't want like i was thinking how oh, do i put some trousers on but you know you just feel really bloated so i thought no i'll put this on they literally feel so comfortable and you can pull them up as well like they're fold over pants but you can mess with them and i feel like having them down is really cute so change of plan because miss doodles is under my supervision so i thought what we could do is there's a new coffee that i want to go and try so we could go and try the new coffee and then just have like a little potter around take dars for a little walk and it's a really nice afternoon so i feel like just getting out in nature will be really nice i've done like all work bits and stuff this morning the only thing i wanted to do with you guys this morning which i haven't is do the canva document but my iPad pen is dead, so I've got her in charge, she's here. I actually convinced myself somehow that you couldn't, it didn't work. I don't know whether I just hadn't turned it on, but it does actually work on the iPad. I got it off Amazon for like £9 or something crazy. I feel like I need to be better with links, so I feel like I need to get on Amazon and have like a storefront or something. And like, because I think I've created one, but whether I upload stuff, I don't know. But there's nothing better sometimes than an Amazon shop. So yeah, this is the outfit anyway. We're going to pop out and just have a little mooch around darcy's just fell to sleep so that's fun <laughs> i might take her to my mum's because roxy's there and she really loves roxy and roxy loves her so i might take her to my mum's for a little bit i know i've got a plt parcel coming so i'll give you the haul of that and yeah that's it really let's head out try this new coffee and i will see you guys there do you want ice latte with vanilla hello could i please get the white chocolate whipped latte yeah medium um yes please that's all, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to try this, guys. Woo! The only annoying thing is, I can't get my app up to get my free drink because my phone keeps not working. My internet keeps going in and out. Hey, Hi, yeah, hey. you okay? Do you have the Yeah, I'm just getting it up, sorry, thank you. I haven't got any service. Hi. <laughs> Who's that? Hello. You want one? Right yeah, would you yeah. please? Okay, thank you. How lucky are you? Did you hear that? I feel she like did. She, what she knows exactly what that means. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. You're so patient, aren't you? <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> thank you so much. We we'll see. Sit then. Get back. What's that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so go. much. Have you a good day. See you later. Have that bit. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this dog does not get fed. This dog does not get water. This dog does not have 10 treats a day. One sec, Doss. I'm not trying to be mean. I need to park the car. Okie dokie. Let's get comfortable and let's try. Thoughts, Dars? Thoughts? Right, let's get Darcy sorted. <laughs> I am so sorry about that, guys. My man called me with some bittersweet news, but definitely positive news. So 
anyway, sorry, I was just speaking to her on the phone and I couldn't, I couldn't say I'll call you back. I had to talk to her. So she's kind of melted. But if you watch me last year, then you will know I was, I'm not even joking, Costa's number one biggest fan of their whips latte. Like it was so me. I just had it and I got obsessed with it and I hadn't been like that with a coffee for a long time and I always get the caramel and when they discon well not discontinued it but when they said it was going off the menu I was so sad because it's all I ever had and then when they said that it was coming back for summer like everyone all of you girls were sending it me and I was like ah so excited so I did get a caramel one a was it last weekend or the weekend before on the way to the house but i've been seeing loads of people on tiktok try the white chocolate one and the window open so darcy absolutely demolished her um cream she literally licked it all up and then she started heaving because she left it so fast so <laughs> now she wants my coffee so i'm really excited people are saying i saw this at Amy farrow maybe one of the twins have it and they said that it tastes like white mocha so it's literally asked for a white chocolate with latte they have caramel which is like salty caramel they have white chocolate and then i don't know whether the other one's just chocolate maybe well let's try it mm. that is so, that's more coffee -y. if you're not like a world's biggest coffee fan then the caramel one is <laughs> dark because it's a little girl eh? <laughs> Well, it does. It's okay. Um, she's got her seatbelt on, which is why she's not like climbing out the window. Yeah, yeah. If you like coffee, this is really nice. Mm. Caramel's still probably definitely my favourite. So I just love the salty caramel of it, but it's so thick. Mm. It's so thick and good slay a solid eight out of ten definitely try it and make use of it while it's back like enjoy it because they'll probably take it back off the menu at the end of summer which will be sad so anyway i'm just gonna go and take dars for a little walk i'm gonna pop to my mum's because hopefully she's got a parcel from plt for me and i want to un unbox that stuff and show you and then yeah we'll just or eve eh? standard evening routine make dinner shower because i haven't showered this morning and yeah just just wind down for the evening really say bye say bye no then okay goodbye have you guys been seeing on tiktok that tesco is meant to have like adenola dupes really just got cool like zara dupes so i want to need well i need to come and get some stuff and i also want to get those true fruit because they only sell them in tesco and i love them i haven't had them for a while i've only ever had one pack and I thought we could grab some of them and also have a little look around the photos to see whether, whether the rumours on TikTok are true or not. This is cute. It's like a little spark of... Oh, no, they've got all the clips. Oh, I'm sorry, that is such a rip-off from Tesco. You can get a whole pack of these on Amazon or Timu or Sheen for literally like £2, so we're not a huge fan of that Tesco, but... Cute jewellery bits for sure. Okay, I'm not really seeing the vibes yet. It's not really giving much. This looks like it could be a nice dress. Kind of giving teacher, but I feel like someone could dress that quite nice. Hmm, I'm not really sure. I don't think they've really got. I don't think they've quite got the vibes in here, guys. Oh, this is I don't know, Larry Tar. You don't have oh it really does feel like I know it's only £10. That's amazing. It actually does feel like my Adenola one. They've got some colourful leggings. They've got black cycle shorts and they've also just got black. Oh my god, those are so good for £19.50. They actually feel really good. It's a nice Hunter Juju. Oh my god, look, they've got the viral ones put in. Shorts. Oh. The temptation for me to buy another pair of pyjamas. Is it just me or are all girls like this? Like, I just have to say pyjamas. See, I don't really. It's like a towely velvet, not really my favourite. And they're not soft on the inside. For £24, I feel like we could probably get a nice, like, theme one in Tesco, in Plymouth, although, very cute. What a gorgeous shaped pepper. <coughs> Good evening, guys. We cooked dinner and it was... Stop. 
It was my first time cooking this specific recipe. I kind of took inspiration out of the cookbook, but then I also just like made it uh, like more simple. So next week I will cook it with you guys because we had a few, um, we need to change a few things, don't we? We need to make, Oh, this is being an absolute weirdo because he really doesn't think I can see him in the camera. Um, we need to change a few things. We need to make it more spicy or something. We don't like have more of a kick. So next week I will retry it. More yeah, needed to be a bit something, but we're not sure what. So I will cook it with you next week and I'll share the recipe with you because it was really easy actually. And it, it like got a lot of veggies in and everything. So we had that, we tried the true fruit. How good, the raspberry. Really sharp though, Mia said to me that they were sharp and I was like, hmm, I was like, that's strange. Like I couldn't really, I couldn't understand the word sharp with it, but that is exactly what they are. They're a bit like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone else's boyfriend's feet make them feel sick? <laughs> because same. So I'm just doing my skincare anyway. And then what are we gonna watch? Probably, what time is it, like half nine? Yeah. Probably just watch a little one episode documentary or something. We watched what Jennifer did on Monday night and I would actually recommend it. It's like an hour and a half, one episode, very good <sighs> story. Just like a nice, easy sort of documentary, true crime sort of vibe. So I really enjoyed that. And yeah, we're just going to have a chilled night in bed. So sorry I didn't catch up with you, but everyone was out. Everyone was downstairs, so it's sometimes a little bit, a bit shy shy around all of Ollie's brothers to get the vlog camera out and start vlogging me cooking so don't hate don't hate appreciate and I'm just going to go with a little bit of my by Ellie on my lips she's actually relaunching this this week and I'm so excited she's sorry ignore the two day she's coming out with I think it's brown sugar I don't know if it's strawberry milkshake. This is just in the shade strawberry, but it's such a good consistency and like formula and everything. She actually came up with it when she, like, she basically designed it because she was on Roaccutane for her skin. And that really, if you guys know anything about that, it really dries your lips out. I remember when my old best friend was on it and when my brother was on it, they both said the same. That their like skin was so dry and just like their lips and everything. So she came up with it for that and it's such a good formula but she's like reformulated it to be even better come out with like better bottles i think it's giving like babe will you just turn that off she i think it's like a summer fridays lip balm now like tube and everything applicator so fine just putting a bit of cute oil on and that is me ready for bed normal skincare products used the bioma balancing face mist Laneige Water Bank Hyaluronic Serum, Water Bank Moisturiser. I've just been keeping it very simple and found it works the best for me. By Ellie Lip Balm, and that was UK Lash on the lashes. And I've washed my face now, so they've gone down. But honestly, I feel like all day my lashes stayed really curled. So doing it twice, that trick definitely works. But other than that, good night, and I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> I am about to get myself ready for the day. I've had a lovely morning reading my book. I feel like I'm fully back in my reading era. Like nothing can stop me now, you know. It's full steam ahead. I'm gonna finish the series. I don't know how long it'll take me, but I'm gonna finish it. So, are you playing with my glue? Okay. I am getting ready because I have got an ad to film this morning and I wanna have a little bit of makeup on. I found these earrings and I actually found, I can't find my, you know the necklace I always wear, my Oliver necklace, but I have managed to find my old version of it. It's like got a few little diamonds on and I stopped wearing it because a few of them had fallen off, but it's better than nothing. I literally feel I have felt bare 
be like wearing my necklace so i've got this one it's still from abbott line it's actually the exact same it's just got diamonds on instead of just like plain gold and then these hoops i just found i don't know what it was i just had this little like jewelry thing that's ollie's chain and then it's just an infinity necklace i think someone sent it me and mia i would love to remember the brand so if it was you please comment because they're really 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 gorgeous so what are you doing I'm gonna do my makeup, let's zoom you in. You seem so far away. Okay, so let's get ready. I think I'm just gonna do very, very, very light, like glowy makeup. I've brushed my brows up, gone in with Laneige, and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the It Cosmetics CC cream. I could do with a better mirror, I've only got this. I've only got my number seven mirror. This is so glowy though, such a nice coverage. Like, if you put this on, you can either really blend it out and have it quite light or you can like build it up and it's so nice it can really go either either way where's Deedle going? such a miserable day today it's really not it's really not the vibe Oh my god, it's raining. I wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to go in with the Giorgio Armani concealer. Put under the eyes. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that out. I'm gonna go in with the Ciartite Dewy Stick just to bronze up the face. I just ended up watching Friday Night Dinner last night and then literally falling to sleep. But I feel like Friday Night Dinner is such an underrated show. Like it really gives in between us, friends, modern family for me. Like I really, really, really love it. What I've started doing with this as well, instead of like swirling it i've been like pressing it into the skin and i just find that it sits a lot nicer on the skin like this and then i feel like for my ad i want my makeup to be quite like bright girly that's why i've got this pink top on because the product is quite like girly so i'm gonna go in with the maybelline blusher it's like a real pink and just blend it out with the other side of my brush So glowy as well. Okay, now I'm just going to spray my whole face with the CIA Everyday Vacay. What are you doing, baby? What was that? What's this? What's this? How hard is it to entertain a puppy when you've got no toys? Okay, I'm going to curl the lashes and I'm going to do the same trick as yesterday, even though I'm going to put a bit of mascara on. There we go. I've also, I've got some floors, flora and wall tile samples to show you, the ones that I didn't show you. Pulse, it's called the Alex L Pulse. Look at that. Crazy. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to go in with the Technique Brain one. I just personally prefer brain mascara on me. I feel like black always looks quite harsh, so I'm gonna go in with the brain again. I was using the Kylie Cosmetics one, but I'm going back to this. I just like the brain mascara. It's just like ever so slightly less harsh. Less dark on the eyes. She's gone and she's took my foot with her. Brilliant. She's really nice. I'm gonna have to get a new one. I don't know where even sells technique. I think this was PR. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips and stuff after, but let me show you these tiles. Okay, so if you can see me guys out now. This is the makeup by the way. Very glowy, very nice. 
These are from Top Styles. And I didn't know that you could order this, so I got some from Wall and Floor Tiles, and then I also went on Top Styles because I just wanted to see if they had any that I liked. And on there, you could also get grout examples, which I thought was so good. So they let you pick three grouts, like grout um, colours, because they were like the colour of the grout can really influence how the tile looks. I guess it's like a paint colour can look very different depending on how you style around it. So. I just picked three grouts, these three colours. So this one was like a beige, they literally, these two literally look the same, but they're not. This was like a biscuity beige. This was more of just like a white. And then I just picked green. So I didn't really know what other colour to get. Like I thought, what other colour grout would I do? So these are the three tiles that I picked. This is off a Pinterest like inspiration pick that I saw. It was this, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen now. It's this gorgeous niche, um, like an oval niche. What's it called like when it's like an oval and then a bit at the bottom? I don't know, but like a semicircle niche, but oval. And inside they had these gorgeous green like ribbed tiles and it looked really nice. So I picked that because I thought that could be nice because we are going to have like a shower niche. We just need to like hone in on our ideas. And then I saw this one. This was more of just like a random one that I added at the end, but it has like a, see like a wavy texture. You can see it better like that. And I thought that could look quite nice, but I don't know if just like the colour is a bit boring, but I feel like as a feature, you know, if you had like a different colour and then that was like bordering, I thought that could look quite cool. So I picked that just because I wanted that and needed a third. And then this one, they're so dusty because they've been in the house for ages. This one was like a part of a floor, which I thought could look really cool. Again, sort of on a Pinterest picture, if I can find it, I'll link it. It might have, might have even been with this. It might have been the same bathroom, I can't remember. But it was like part of a huge pattern and obviously they only send you a very little cut. So you can't really get a very good idea off that. So that was a bit of a fail, but it was still, still like a good tile. Um, so yeah, those were from Tops Tiles. Um, so dusty and gross so yeah poa of the day is i've got a little bit of work to do this morning like i said i've got an ad to film and then this afternoon i'm gonna go well not even this afternoon in a couple hours i've got to go and pick my nan up and then we're gonna go over to the hospital to my granddad because he got admitted yesterday and he's waiting so awaiting surgery i haven't heard anything so i don't believe he's gone in for surgery today but they admitted him yesterday so fingers crossed he gets like done and sorted this week and then he's just like on the road to recovery you know so yeah, so that is what we are currently dealing with. I don't know where any of my lip liners are. Are they in here? No. Okay, anyway, I'm going to just get myself sorted. This top is from Zara. I've got a new neck or something, which is nice. These are the earrings. They're like oddly shaped hoops, which are really cool. Gold, very slim. And yeah. That's really what I'm up to. I'm just going to tidy the room, film what I've got to film, and then I'll be out and picking my nan up. So I'll probably see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully my PLT pass will come today. It didn't come yesterday. so annoying. So I want to be able to show you guys what I got. So hopefully that comes today and then I can give you guys the haul. Um, other than that, not much else to report other than it is raining and grey. Can we see that? What a, like, juxtaposition. Is that the right word? Given English GCSE, what a juxtaposition to the weather last week. It was so gorgeous, and literally today it is tipping it down, grey skies. So, love that, but I will see you guys in a bit. Good evening, guys. I am in the van. Ollie's just gone to fill the car up, and we are having to go to Stafford because we're getting some like of our rubbish removed from the house we have to go and drop the money off to the man so we're going to go and drop that off and then ollie said why don't we have like our treat night tonight so i know it's only thursday but instead of eating out or we're ordering in tomorrow we're just going to go and get nando's and i'm actually quite excited because nando's have got a new menu and i'm excited because they've got this like new wrap with pickled onions and avocado in which i feel like is so me so if they do it at my nando's i'm going to get that um, See, this is the thing, big issues with this phone. Well, I was just Thank straight you. to say, why don't you keep my bank card in it? Well, your oh. bank card is on there anyway. Did you pay on my bank card or yours? <laughs> <laughs> you paid on mine, didn't you? I did, but I didn't think. <laughs> Ollie's phone keeps turning off and he just went in to pay for his petrol and it turned off, so he says, can I borrow your phone? But you were on the Apple Pay. I, I was going to shout that, but I thought, oh, I don't I, care. I don't, don't worry. I just sent you the money anyway. Don't worry, I'll get it. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, we're going to go over to Stafford. Have you seen the new Nando's menu? I have, nothing really that old. Like yeah, that. but don't you think it's a bit of me? Yeah, it is. The wrap with the avocado and pickled onions. Yeah. So if they've got that, I'm going to try that and I'm just going to get broccoli. <laughs> Sorry everyone. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're up to. It is quarter to six. We just had a cup of tea with my nan and we're going out. So I will see you guys later. This is what I got. I got mac and cheese. I got the rainbow slot. It's so good. I got it last time I came. Then I tried the full loaded bread. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you. Right, I'll try the wrap with them. I'm so excited. I got it Terry Chang She's like a boss. I've never had a wrap from here. Dead. Is it not? Nice? It's okay. I wouldn't have it again. I'd go back to my Pino Pinto, but it is okay. It's nice to have something different, but... I would personally just like a bowl of pickled onions. Because I prefer the thighs to the rest. Good morning guys i hope you're okay happy friday i didn't end up filming well i did try to film that ad that i had to film yesterday but i just couldn't i'm just trying to send it off for approval there we go um i just was not in the right headspace to film it but I filmed it this morning and I think it looks really good so fingers crossed the client are happy with it and everything it's just going to get sent off for approval so hopefully there won't be any amends or minimal you never know I've never worked with this brand before but I have worked with the agency before and they're always really nice but you just never know like how picky a brand are going to be or sometimes a brand is just like they just trust you and like yep yeah, go for it you know sometimes some can be very picky but that's okay because it is what it is it's their product um but I actually really love this product. I was working with Batiste and I've always, always used this brand growing up. And this one is like an up to 24 hours fresh range. So, I mean, bearing in mind I wash my hair on... What day was it? Monday. So that's five days. And literally my hair looks like I've washed it today. It looks really fresh. So, you know, the product sort of speaks for itself. Which is why I think that they'll be happy with it. Because like my hair ended up looking really good from using it so on the agenda today i need to try and get this tragus piercing out because i've slept on it and my tragus has swollen and it's so painful to touch but i can't get it out because it's that tender to get my hand around to get the back off like it's literally wedged in my ear so i'm gonna have to wait for someone to assist me with that i've burnt my hand on the curler it's lay from me but I've got up, read a bit of Akatar. Now, this is just going to be a two minute segment. So if you've never read Akatar and you're not interested, just skip two minutes. But if you are and you're an Akatar girl, listen up. Right. I'm on book two. I've just finished. So if you've read book, uh, this, also if you're reading it and you don't want anything spoiled, if you're behind me, skip. 
So book two is split into three parts and I've just finished the second part. I'm just about to go into the house of wind, is it? Or mist, one or the other, I don't know. Just about to go into the third part of the book. Fyra has just found out that her and Reese are mates because the, um, what's it called? The senile, whatever it's called, told her, like he, he said, I know you're gonna give this to your mate. And she was like, it clicked. She was like, does he know that we're mates? Basically like soul mates, like a bonding mate, like them two are basically in, um, well, if, you, if you're an actor, I'll go, you'll understand. I don't know why I'm trying to explain it, but like they're meant to be together, you know, like destined to be together. She didn't know. Reese knew, I for the life of me cannot figure out why she's so annoyed that he didn't tell her because if he would have told her at the start, like we're mates, we're meant to be together, that's a lot of pressure for him to put on her. Like that is not what he would do. Like that's something Tamlin would do to make her do it because that's the type of person that I think he is. But the type of person that I think Reese is, he wanted us to make her own decision and come to her own decision herself, not feel forced by like tradition and, you know, um, rules let's say like he wanted her to fall in love with him because she wants to fall in love with him not fall in love with him and be with him because she feels like it's her right and she's like entitled to almost and i just can't understand that like, she's so mad at him he's just literally been attacked his wings got done like done in he fell to the ground he's like going through all this and then she's just like we know what's home and he's literally got no power but like somehow he manages to and then she just leaves him in the mud and then locks herself up in the log cabin just I can't understand like maybe be a bit like I wish you would have told me but I feel like he wanted to tell her and that's what he was going to tell her before the attack happened because he was like there's one more thing I need to tell you and like maybe he just didn't want it and then also the night before she said I only want fun and distraction because she was like too scared to say she wanted anything more for him so like you're hiding things from him as much as he's hiding things from you and you're only hiding things for the sake of each other like it's not like emotional like abusive toxic relationship you know it's I just, <laughs> I've had to, I've had to put it down. I mean, I come to the end of the part two and I thought I'm actually done with you for a, a for a while, Faye. I thought I'm getting out of bed. That's what I call it for a nickname, just Faye. I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to film my work and I'm going to get ready for the day. So I thought me and you need some time apart because I just can't fathom what is going through your head as to why you're so annoyed. Like maybe even just being like, I wish you would have told me, like, I can't believe you kept it from me. Not this whole, like, don't talk to me, don't come near me that's the end of it i'm just dipping up now i don't want to talk about it anymore but happy friday we are getting ready for the day i say but we're not really doing much today um i'm gonna go meet my grandma take a shopping i think i'm gonna go to the gym and just have an, a usual day really it's sunnier than it was yesterday yesterday ended up being a really horrible day to be honest it was like raining all day but it is actually sunny so love that these by the way are the amazon pajamas that i think me and mia first saw mckenna in they're so nice literally amazon essentials and then she got me these for christmas and they're so nice they're so soft they're a lot softer than the primark ones and to be honest i reckon they're probably similar price now because primark keep upping and upping and upping their price so i feel like all i do is stand this has like really become my new vlogging spot like this is literally what the whole vlog consists of so we're gonna get out the house today anyway we're gonna go and take my grandma shopping spend a bit of time with my grandma and then this afternoon like i said i haven't really got anything planned so the world is my oyster we might go for a little shop about might see what mia's doing i don't really know what she's up to um i have voice noted out to also give her the akatar oh by the way you can come back now if you're not an akatar girl um i Oh yeah, I have voice noted Mia and also ranted to her about the Akatar thing this morning. Well, I haven't heard of her yet, so maybe you might see me. I don't know what she's up to. Um, but yeah, not really like many set plans. Because we are out yesterday, we're going to eat in tonight. Because I'm just trying to have like, um, I don't want to be eating out loads of days in a row. I'm trying to be better. And I would also, if any of you guys have ever done like a juice detox for the day, would you please let me know how you got on? I'm going to swap this because it's literally rose gold because i would really quite like to do one this girl that i've spoke to you guys about how i think it was in last week's vlog i haven't curled the <laughs> this part of my it's really annoying me i spoke to you guys about her a few vlogs ago cami sophia she's like a big like she's quite big on tiktok what do i go for i don't know my all gold ones oh they're here i'm sorry these are more like colorful for holiday the loved one's quite cute though 
that one these are just for prime like i always get packs of these because i feel like if you have oh the heart's quite cute should i put the heart in i feel like if you have lots of like cartilage piercings or um like a lot of different piercings on your ear so nice to have cool like earrings so i always get these packs from primark because there's so many different ones you can just really like customize your ear to it does that look cute no it does look quite cute we'll leave her in so yeah anyway yes i saw she did like a juice cleanse for the day and this is again not to put any pressure on anyone like i'm just going to reiterate really what i saw her put but she just did like a juice cleanse throughout the day she didn't like have any like solid food and she just wanted to challenge herself to do it because she'd like heard quite good things about it giving like your gut like a real time to heal and i've personally done like intermittent fasting before and i've always quite benefited from it not all the time but like if i do it right and at certain points of the month like i can i could do it quite well and i found that it has like helped me just give my gut a break so if you guys have ever done it will you let me know but she said that she got it all like a pack from costco and ollie's mum goes to costco so i might ask her to get me a pack when she goes on the weekend because she goes a lot for work but it's like you just literally juice for the whole day and um, it's obviously not substantial enough to do that for days like i would never recommend doing that food is so important to fuel yourself but i would be intrigued to see if it would like help my gut because i feel like i've been bloating a lot recently so i have been like doing like mini intermittent fasting but i'm a little bit like um maybe like hesitant to share everything at the minute because i don't really like i'm not doing like a set thing so i don't really know but i'm just like trying different things just trying to get in like a good group of it again like I used to fast, I think it was like 16 hours. But yeah, I would quite like to do a juice cleanse just like once, just to try it and then maybe make it like a monthly thing because they are meant to be really, really good for you. But if you've ever done it, will you let me know and let me know where you got the best juices from? Because she was like having a juice like pretty much like every hour or like every couple hours. So she said she wasn't actually feeding like hungry. And I guess if you go up, go in with it with the right mindset, like you know you're going to eat the next day. Um and it's like healing so yeah i would quite like to take these earrings out as well but i've never took these out since i got them pierced they're literally the ones that the um piercer pierced my ear with so i think she actually did this did she do them with a gun i can't remember if she, i think she might have done them with a gun i don't think that's very good is it i can't remember that might be a lie i did vlog it but i've never took them out it's been like I feel like over a year now since I had them done so they could definitely come out but I actually can't get them out you know and they're like locked in so I would like to get those removed I need to get Ollie to get this out for me later that is all I really have to report I'm just going to get myself ready for the day and then I will probably see you guys more this afternoon because this morning I'm just going to take my grandma it's 10 to 11 so I need to get going really I'm going to just quickly throw an outfit on go and pick her up because I know she'll be waiting for me and just get on with the day so yeah happy Friday love you let's have a fun day fun weekend ahead I know I said I was going to go, and I will after this, but I thought that you guys would like to see... Oh, me. I've been oh my TikTok. <laughs> Just saving a draft, but I've played one. Okay, I thought you guys might like to see my outfit. So, actually, if I pop you here, I can actually... Yeah, I thought you, might, you guys might like to see my outfit. So, the top is the Zara one. Leggings are another version. This is a Boohoo trench coach bag. And I've actually got sandals on these Boohoo ones that I got a couple of vlogs back. But I am ready for the day. On the lips, it's actually so nice to wear like a cute fit, cute hair, but no makeup. I feel like it's an underrated combo. On the lips, I'm putting on this Clinique. This is just in like the original shade. I think it's just Honey. It's their lip oil. It's so good. It's literally one of my favorite lip oils ever. So we're going to throw that in the bag and then we're ready for the day. So, bye. Here we guys. Welcome back. It is Friday afternoon. Time check is 3.12. So, coming towards the end of the week. And I've got a few little errands to run. So, I've just popped into town. Needed to go to the post office. And I grabbed my PLT parcel because it got delivered. So, I'm going to give you a PLT haul later. Some really cute bits in there. I'm really excited to like style up and things and show you. So I will show you that later on. I really want to go to the works because is if you if you don't know about the works, then maybe you won't understand this. But if you do know about the works, there wasn't always one in town. One probably come 
maybe like four or five years ago like when i was starting uni and things and i just went in on a women why is it the best shop ever it gives me just so much happiness going in that shop there's crafts there's books there's lots of like different interest books as well there's like story books and like novels but there's also that old man is looking at me thinking what is this girl doing like what is she talking to herself so expressively <laughs> oh did they look back i'm so embarrassed they're probably thinking what on earth i just love it in there yeah so they've got like lots of like different story books and they've also got like books about manifestation about like they've got journals they've got books about spirits like about you like just lots of different i don't know if you get it you get it if you don't you don't the girls that get it get it it's one of those sort of, sort of sorts of things but i just love a mooch in there so i really want to go in because i'm hoping they might also have a little canvas that i can do the whole painting shabarkle with because it would be nice to have it done to take maybe over the weekend one day maybe if i get the stuff today i can always paint it on tomorrow night and take it with me on sunday or something i would just like to have it to take with me so yeah i'm thinking possibly go and do that and i've just got a few little errands to run so i thought Let's go, guys. Let's go for a little look around the works. Oh, we're here, guys. Don't you just think the shop just gives good vibes? Honestly, it just makes me want to get in my craft era. Look at this. It's got like short term goals and then you say like what, why, when, how, a reward for doing it, that's good. I love a reward. Yeah. And then there's like a, it's like a weekly journal. I'm grateful for today's coffee. Good evening, it's a little bit later. Okay, I finally got the PLT haul for you, which I feel like all this vlog has consisted of is me saying, I've got a PLT haul, I've got a PLT haul, but without actually ever giving it you, so buckle up. Just, you can see a bit of the bed. I need to get a, get my tripod back out. I'll stick it on my knee so you guys can see. Okay, this was very, very kindly gifted by PLT, but not an ad in any way, shape or form. But they did very kindly gift to me. It's been a while since I ordered from PLT. Okay, so first thing I got was actually, if you watch my come shot with me, then I, this is that's when I brought this pink razor from Zara. And I thought it would go really nicely with some pink linen trousers. And I just feel like in general, pink is such a cute colour to wear. And I remembered that PLT did these last year. So I got these in a size 8. They look very big, but I think you can like really scrunch them in because they are a drawstring. So you sort of scrunch them in a lot. And then they're like a really wide leg baggy striped pant. But I thought how nice you could wear this with white. You could even just wear this, this with like a big oversized grey jumper. I just love these trousers. They're so comfy. I feel like you can wear them in England. You can wear them in on holiday like they're just very versatile and i thought a like stripe like broke it up a little bit rather than it just being um full pink i feel like the stripe makes it look a little bit nicer and then this isn't spring at all but i don't know where i had this gorgeous black blazer a couple years ago from debenhams i think actually and i just do not know where it went like i have no idea but i saw this on plt and i thought there's some times where i just need a big oversized black blazer so i got this in a size 12 I'm hoping this will be like a nice oversized. Oh yeah, I feel like that will fit me so nice. 
You know, like with just like even denim short, a little white tank, and a black blazer. I feel like a black blazer is just such a staple, and the fact that I don't have one is pretty criminal. Like I've only got a cropped one, so I just needed an everyday black blazer. So definitely not spring related, but I feel like this is just a staple every wardrobe needs. So love that, and I do love a KLT blazer. Now this is probably what I'm most excited about. I am a big fan advocate, stan fanger, whatever you want to call it of the PLT Sculpt Flares. This is gonna be my third pair. I've got a dark, like, midnight navy blue color. Oh, also look what I've got. I went to m and to get stuff for dinner and I got these big fat cookies because I thought, you can treat yourself, it's Friday. And I made myself a cup of tea, so before we go on. You're either a tea drinker or you're just not. Those are so nice. insane okay so yeah i've got like a midnight navy blue color and i've got a beige color and i saw this petrol blue color and i thought this would be gorgeous for spring you would just be like surprised how much i've reached for these flares they're the most flattering thing you will ever put on your body i never really was much of a flare girl but recently i'd say like since christmas i've got so many in my wardrobe now and it's nice because they are like a legging still but a flare so like you do feel like a little bit more put together you feel like you're wearing almost trousers but they're still like leggings like and they feel and look like leggings so i just love them so this is the just a sculpt flare i will leave the link below they've got every color they've got like loads of different tops they've got shorts they've got leggings they've got zip ups they've got um little t-shirts i've got a t-shirt in like the beige color and it's so cute they've got like bbl jackets they've got so much and they're just incredible so if you guys want to like see the material but i'm sure if you've watched me before you'll have seen me in the other versions of these that i've got a hundred times so i wear them so much so yeah i got this gorgeous color i thought it was very nice for this time of year and then i thought instead of going for like an actual top i would go for the bbl jacket because i thought it was more versatile i could wear this to the gym i love my lululemon one so much but obviously this is probably like a fifth of the price a lululemon one is about 108 pound these are like 20 so do the math and i feel like it would just look so nice like very put together range rover mom vibes we love that so i thought this with like a little white top underneath would be so cute with some white trainers but also this just to the gym with like whatever gym set so it's just like all the way down it doesn't have thumb holes does my lululemon one yeah i have got one from plt though a black zip up that has thumb holes so they do do them with them but i thought this was gorgeous got this in a size eight so yeah that is what i got i did order something else but i can't remember what but it hasn't come so i'm not sure but yeah that's everything i got from plt i also managed to get a canvas i got this it was four pound and you actually got three because i thought i'd probably end up doing this again so you could get one for three pound or three for four pound so obviously went for the three pack but i'm basically just going to roll them i'll probably do them I might do them later if i do i'll show you if not i'll do them tomorrow i'm just going to roll it like probably like the length of this and then just write the name underneath and then i can just and like i'll probably do all the nudes on one board and then i'll do like the greens on another it's more of like an accent color so yeah got those from the work and that is pretty much everything so i'm just going to tidy the room up for a little bit ollie's just gone to the gym and i'll probably see you guys later for like shower and skincare and stuff guys happy saturday it is about 10 past seven i think and we are gonna go to the gym this morning so that it's done before the house because after the house we never end up going because obviously we're just tired and we're gonna shower and go for dinner and everything so we're gonna make a better habit of going 
on the weekend mornings and then that that's two sessions in without even really having to think about it because it'll just it just like force us into it so good morning i was making this mini video but i just wanted to say good morning we're off to the gym and i'll show you guys my workout hopefully it'll be really quiet but yeah day in the garden it was really sunny look at the sight of me mate can you see the mud all up my legs i've got all mud and i was basically jet washing so look at the colour of my socks all oh, you can't even really see but i swear my legs <laughs> are covered in mud anyway it's time for pre-date night post host renovation day shower so I normally wet my hair but I'm gonna wet it tomorrow just because I want to go out and we haven't got the most time so it's not going to be that dry normally I just wet it and then like let it dry but I'm in a bit of a rush so I'm just gonna tie it up probably and then I'll wet it tomorrow with a hair mask but I'm just gonna throw it up to have a shower I'm gonna have a nice everything shower, but like a quick, speedy everything shower. So these are the products that I would use for that. Okay, starting off strong, we will go in with Bioderma Atoderm. This is basically just a gel cleanser. Very good for just giving your body like a first cleanse. It doesn't really have a scent. It's good for sensitive skin, act like anti-irritation. We love this. So that's first. Then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Exfoliating Body Wash in the scent Almond Coconut. Definitely more of a coconut <coughs> Definitely more of a coconut scent, but I still really like it. It's like this, and I've just got to ex use exfoliating gloves, which mine are already just on the floor in the shower. So I'll just do that nice. Then I'll go in and shave with Estrid, and I'll just go in with the Cocoa and Eat smoothie shower gel i do like like a shaving foam i just find it's like a cute little extra step to do but i don't have one so i'll just shave with that and then that will be a lovely scent and then we'll go in with the same body um lotion to lock that scent in because it's nice when you know it's like a date night you want to have a nice like a body routine as well it's nice to sometimes do that and then for down there we'll go in with this barely one got this from australia can't find it anywhere in England which is so sad I'm probably about half empty but I love this stuff so much so yeah extra razor shows you all those bits and then I'll just give my face a wash with my simple face wash so yeah let's jump in the shower and then we will get ready and everything for a nice date night together too look how bad my legs are look how I've caught the sod I don't quite know what that is can you see my chest? Although my back as well. Oh, I feel like, you know, you just feel like you look awful. Right. First things, deodorant, so this can soak in. This is the Rio Sol de Janeiro. Rio Dio. Very good deodorant. Smells like straws. Then, on our, one sec, let me just, obviously I've washed my hands in the shower, but, oh, wrong way. clean right what was that what did i want yes why has that gone i'm a bit confused where's my body moisturizer gone i don't know where that has gone okay i'm just thinking on my feet i'm gonna go in with this this is obviously not giving summer this is giving christmas but we would just roll with it because my skin needs some moisturisation after being outside all day. It's so dry. 
especially on the chair, that's where I've caught the sun. So we're going to Herbert, or oh, where else would we be going on a Saturday? It is just like our ritual, it's our favourite place to go. And because I've ate like so good this week and I've like stuck to all of my goals, I feel like I really deserve this and I'm very excited. Did you never see it? Mm -hmm. What the hell? It's actually my most viewed video on TikTok ever. <laughs> Guys, Ollie's just going on TikTok and the video of me telling me that I got engaged has come up and he's like, it's got 300k likes. I'm like, I know. Right, I'm sure you've, I'm sure you can hear us, but this is my outfit. White fox top, H&M little trousers. Just putting in these hoops from Primark. I can't believe you've never watched that. And why has that just popped up on your few page? That's so weird. Isn't it? Mm. My hair feels so dry. So I'm going to put in a bit of the Wella Deluxe because this is good for on dry hair. I'm just going to... Run it through because it feels horrible. I have watched that video like I've been like at least I like Oh, what a moment. It's so cute guys that like we have like the video of Mia telling me that she's pregnant with the baby. Like we have all these videos of us telling each other all these like milestones in our life. It's so nice. Like we'll be able to look back at them literally for ever. I'm like our kids will be able to watch them and everything and think, oh, that was Auntie Jodie and Mia, mom, or like that was mom and Auntie Mia. See, you made us both very happy. You watched it again? No, no, it's still going on. Oh. I am surprised at how well that video did. Can't lie. Just going in with the Laneige water bank. You just fucking both screaming the whole video. <gasps> I know. You said not some of the haters in the comments there. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. You said not some of the trolls. I'm saying that's probably why it does so well, the energy. Yeah. Yeah, but there was some like men commenting like, the screams girls, come on. <laughs> but then all the girls are like, we love this energy. <laughs> what? what? Just the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> we love this energy. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna do makeup because who cares to do makeup at this time on a Saturday, unless we were going out for a really posh meal. Herbert's just isn't a vibe that requires makeup, is it? No. We're in. Oh, we're both in white and blue. I'll meet you downstairs. Okay, I won't be long. Um, I'm just gonna literally brush the brows. Oh, guess what I ordered? The Peach and Creams Sun Tint. I'm so excited. Amber ordered it and I was like, oh, you know what? She inspired me because then I like searched on TikTok and I was watching all of the videos because it just restocked and I thought, you know what? It's like, I think it comes to like 11 pounds with shipping. I thought it looked so good. It's like a serum, but it's got colouring. So it will, it was like, well, it just looked gorgeous. So hopefully it'll come next week. So I'll be able to show you in the vlog how it looks. But it looks insane on everyone else. So I'm hoping I have the same result. I'm just gonna curl the lashes. Oh, my storage is off. That hasn't happened all week. And then perfume. I'm so hungry, guys. Perfume is Carolina Herrera. Cool. My camera's having issues, guys. One of my memory cards broke. I don't know how. The same thing happened to me a few months ago, and I just somehow ended up doing it the other day. So I've only got my small memory card and this vlog. I don't know how much footage I've got, but it's took up the whole memory card. So I can't delete anything because you guys haven't seen it yet. So I'll have to import a bit off. Um, I mean, it's Saturday. We're at the end, nearly at the end of the vlog anyway. But... I just wanted to, look how annoying this spot is. I haven't had a spot for so long. Do you think that's from using a face wash? Because I located it. By the way, I know you can see my bra, but I'm just trying to get back into the bra scene. So this is my outfit. Um, bag, 
I might just do a little pop of yellow. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, and then I'll just throw on my little trainers. Oh, my trainers. So, look how my lashes curled. Told you the pulsing technique works. We've got a little brown clip in, so I'll just put on my, maybe my New Balance. But yeah, this is the look anyway. I can't show you anything on the camera because it needs some assistance and I don't have time for that right now because I'm absolutely starving Marvin. So I will see you guys at Herbert's and I'll show you what I get. I think I'm just going to get a greedies to be honest. But yeah, this is the look. <laughs> this is the hair. Let's go. Thank you.